Well, hi there, this is Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. In today's video, I wanna talk about the latest updates to the AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals exam. The latest updates go into effect today, July 31st, 2023. So what I have here are the exam objectives for AZ900 side by side. On the left are the latest objectives as of July 31st, on the right are the skills measured prior, so the old objectives. What I wanna do is I wanna compare these side by side and we can see exactly what's changed with this exam. Now there appears to be some minor uh, cosmetic type changes in the audience profile. The overall objectives, there are three of them, the percentage of the exam devoted to each remains the same. So the overall weighting is the same. Scrolling down, we go into the first section of cloud concepts, which is 25 to 30% of the exam. And we can see there is a new objective under cloud computing called serverless. Now I'm not gonna describe uh, this as I go along, but obviously the serverless model has been around within Azure for a long time typically referring to um, Azure Functions and other types of services where you don't necessarily have any control over the underlying hardware. For instance, there's a, there's a SQL database that's serverless, there's a Cosmos DB that's serverless, etc. Scrolling down some more, we look at the benefits of cloud services, they remain the same. Cloud service types, they also remain the same. The second section is 35 to 40% of the exam. And we can see here that the first section on core architectural components of Azure all remain the same compared to before and after. Compute and networking services. There are some cleanup, but they've removed some abbreviations here. Of course, Azure has also They've, they're renaming stuff like web apps, containers, virtual machines, whereas before it was the web apps feature of Azure App Service, which is obviously quite awkward to say. So that's some simplification there. All right, Azure Storage Services. We've got pretty much the same before and after, so no new requirements in Azure Storage Services. Azure Identity. Now, Microsoft recently renamed the identity service from Azure AD to Microsoft Antra. Funny enough, they've actually removed the label for Antra ID and just left it as Azure AD in the latest version. So Azure AD, part of Antra, Azure AD DS. So they've also changed it from just uh, external identities and guest access to being external identities, including B2B and B2C. Okay, that's pretty much the same in the Azure AD section. Azure management and governance. Now they've changed it from being the cost management and billing tool to just cost management capabilities. As we can see so far, the changes are pretty minor. They've added a new topic in serverless so far. They've removed mention of Azure Blueprints and the Service Trust Portal, and they've added in Microsoft Purview as the governance tool under the governance section. Continuing to see, let's talk about managing resources. Again, they changed some of the abbreviations from CLI to the command line interface bracket CLI. They've added a new requirement in infrastructure as code, and those are ARM templates and uh, BICEP. And ARM templates were already on the exam anyways. And finally, section is monitoring tools. Again, all the same. So we've seen that in AZ900, there's only a couple of new things that are mentioned, which is Microsoft Purview, Infrastructure is code and serverless. So that's as of July 31st, extremely minor 
changes to the exam. For my AZ900 course, which is available on Udemy, I'm going to be adding videos. I already have videos on a couple of these topics. For instance, there's a video about bicep and there's a video about serverless in the course already. I will add a video about purview this week. So hopefully if you've been studying for the AZ900 exam, you're not too put off by it. It is not going to be terribly difficult for you to adapt, to add a couple of more uh, reading materials, a couple more videos to watch before you go and take this test. So good luck to you, and I hope to see you inside the course. This has been Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. Check the description for discount codes and links to my courses on Udemy. Thanks.